All right, guys, welcome back. Um, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break from the neck and do some work on the body. Uh, so I'm gonna grab the camera and bring you in closer and show you a little bit about what it is we're doing. Cause I think it's pretty cool and uh, you might too. So come on in and check this out. All right, so with this ash body, I really wanna highlight the grain and make the grain pop out. Uh, so I'm just using some cheap um, Michaels Craft Store Craft Smart acrylic paint. And basically all we do is I put it on a like a paper towel or whatever. And just rub it in. So this part I didn't get yet, I will. Um, obviously I didn't do the sides, I will. But uh, I wanted to get this top done so I could show you guys what it's gonna look like. I wanna tape off the fretboard and neck before I do in close to that. Uh, so I'm using a, a 220 get 220 grit um, sanding screen, and I'm just gonna start and go over the top. <laughs>
So something handy to have that we should all have is a glue bottle. If you take the glue bottle and you wrap sandpaper, get some in there. If this is too big, grab a smaller bottle. But as you can see, the grain is now highlighted. It's gonna take a lot more finished sanding, but the grain now pops out and you can see it a whole lot better. So in the last uh, video I did, some of the comments uh, I received was the CNC doing a good job on the fret slots. Uh, what I did is I actually used a, uh, a V-bit um, like this guy to go in and just barely draw in the lines. And the reason I didn't... Uh, use another bit is I want to cut these in by hand but I want the lines um, so what's going on is if you can see it's starting to come away from sanding in the radius uh, these three I was able to go ahead and do um, but what I do is after after it's cut I'll go back through and now that I know where the lines are and I can see the lines I can cut each one by hand in the correct location.